Hi guys, and welcome to my Sister Wives update for April 2021. Season 15 of Sister Wives has come and gone. And before we start the update, I thought it would be fun to look at three of the top tweets from the Sister Wives Twitter stream from the season. Spoiler alert, Twitter was not a friendly place for Cody this season, obviously. He didn't even live tweet on the last finale episode. Like he didn't say like, thanks for watching, great season or anything like that. He just stopped participating. Anyways, let's go to the top three. Number one, this tweet. We need Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin doing a pillow talk for seeking sister wife. I mean, 100% I would watch this so much, but I mean, I'd be happy with just a tell all for sister wives. like. Even if it was a Zoom, I miss the Sister Wives tell-alls. Number two, when Cody suggested that his daughter travel by herself to have surgery on her spine. Agreed, so cringe. I made this face the whole time watching that scene. Isabel was so hurt by that conversation in the finale episode. I mean, it was bad. I sometimes give Cody the benefit of the doubt because maybe it's editing or whatever, but this was especially bad. And number three, isn't it interesting that Cody forbid Mary from going to Chicago to help her daughter move, shamed Christine for going to Utah and booking a needed surgery, but bit his tongue with Janelle because he didn't want to spoil her fun and hope she'd enjoy herself in SC. Accurate, it almost seemed like, yeah, there was like a weird dynamic there. I was so surprised that he was so like, yeah, Janelle, go help Maddie. Anyways, let's get right into the update. So season 15 left off with Christine questioning if she still even wanted to be married to Cody. She asked the family to move to Utah, but was basically told, no way. But did she move to Utah without the family? Like, I was starting to think maybe she was still gonna go. Well, we know that Christine was in Utah for a while recently to be there for McKelty having her first baby, Avalon. McKelty Padron gave birth to baby Avalon on April 5th. And look at this adorable little baby. And look at this picture of Garrison sleeping with little Avalon, like so cute. During her time in Utah, which seemed like it was she stayed like a month or so, Christine posted a lot with the girls. I mean, they made flower crowns. In this picture, not sure what Isabel and Truly are actually doing, but Christine said in the caption, Sometimes it's just best not to ask what they're doing. Hashtag oblivious. Hashtag weird kids. And although it appears that Christine is back in Flagstaff based on kind of her activities in her private Facebook group post for LuLaRoe, I mean, I think we'll probably see more of Christine spending time in Utah as time goes on, but that's just my opinion. I mean, based on last season, I would totally support her decision to be there more. I mean, McKelty Aspen and Mariah are right there. Next, let's go to Janelle. Janelle recently went on a convertible drive with Cody in Sedona. Under this image, Janelle said, broke out the old convertible for a drive to Sedona. Oak Creek Canyon is such a gorgeous drive and a whole new experience for me with the top down. So she also traveled to Wyoming to her mom's house and posted this beautiful scenery picture. We also learned that Janelle has started to watch Bridgerton on Netflix and shockingly, she was listening to the band Evanescence. Can you guys believe this? Under this post, she said, Digging into the music archives today, I had forgotten how much I loved this album. What are you listening to today? Okay, I did not expect this from Janelle at all. She likes rock. Janelle is also promoting this red drink for good health and so is Madison. I read the description, but basically they're saying this red drink promotes a strong immune system, healthy sleep, mood regulation, heart health, and brain health. So it's like an all-arounder. I have no idea what's in it or what, but this seems to be the latest thing 
that Janelle is promoting. All right, let's move on to Mary. Mary is still doing these Friday Night Lies with her best friend, Jen. They don't talk about the show, but about random things. And seems like Jen is really Mary's support system right now. Mary posted this image of her and Jen on her Instagram and said, Happy birthday to my person, the person who gets me through the crap, the person who always has my back no matter what. The person who drops everything and flies to be with me when I need her most in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of massive changes in her own life. The person who jumps in and does whatever I need her to to on the hardest day of my life and even does what I don't know I need her to. Okay, so it seems like Jen has really been there for Mary recently during the tough times with her mom. I mean, Mary hasn't had the best few weeks given, you know, what's been going on in her family. I believe she spent time in Utah at the bed and breakfast and she's been hanging out with dogs as well. Um, now let's go to Cody. So Cody, what we know is he was live tweeting for every episode until the finale. And it was kind of great. I mean, we got to see his insight, but I mean, I think he knew not to engage with Twitter on the last finale episode because that episode did not make him look good at all. And we also know that he peeled logs off of Janelle's property because she posted about it on Instagram and that he went on that convertible trip with Janelle as well. So no mention of Cody on Mary and Christine's accounts at all, but Janelle seems to be still, you know, in good graces with Cody or I don't know what's going on there. I wonder how Cody feels about the season. Like, was it a good experience for him? Because I cannot handle another season of angry Cody confessionals. And last but not least, Robin Brown. A lot of people right now are saying that Robin may be pregnant. I've seen headlines like this one, but nothing is confirmed whatsoever, and this could be completely wrong. <laughs> Let me know if you think that Christine will ultimately move to Utah to be around her older kids and their families. I mean, I don't know what I think, honestly, but it seems like she is in Flagstaff for now. And do you think that the family is still in the funk of season 15? <laughs> or do you think that they've resolved certain issues? I mean, it's so hard to know without a tell-all. Like, we need a tell-all, right? All right, guys, I will see you soon with another update. Have a great day. Bye.